La noche de este miércoles, en el marco de la gala de la revista Time, en la que se reconoce a los 100 personajes más influyentes del mundo, el periodista mexicano Jorge Ramos, incluido en la lista, dio un discurso en el que expresa su inconformidad ante los casos de corrupción de las cópulas políticas mexicanas, la persecución política en Venezuela y su apoyo a los Dreamers, hijos de inmigrantes que desde pequeños llegaron a Estados Unidos y buscan ser reconocidos como estadounidenses. Reproducimos aquí el discurso íntegro de Jorge Ramos durante la gala Times 100. It's great to be here with you tonight. And um, thanks, Nicolas, for being here with me tonight. Uh, my son. Many people were surprised to see an immigrant on the cover of Time magazine. Uh, I was surprised too. Uh, I, I found out in, in Twitter, and I thought it was a meme. Um, <laughs> It is very difficult to be an immigrant because you have to leave everything. You leave your home, your family, your friends, your culture, your language, and sometimes your soul. There are about 230 million immigrants in the world. Just imagine two-thirds of the U.S. population going to another country. That is what's happening right now. And sometimes things go wrong, terribly wrong. I'm still shocked by what happened during the weekend in the Mediterranean and Hundreds of immigrants fleeing Africa to Europe died. And, and you know, the worst is that we don't even know their names. And we haven't even seen their faces. So tonight, I really have to acknowledge that time is making an effort to make sure that here in the United States, all immigrants are visible. We've been invisible for so long that it's great to be visible, at least for one night. So um, having said that, let me just go to the toast. Um, in, during an interview, somebody asked me if all the people who made the Time 100 list had something in common. And of course, I laughed it off and said, uh, nothing, we have nothing in common. Um, but then if you really think about it, I think what you all have in common is that you are rebels, really. Uh, you rebelled against a country or a president, or you rebelled against a tradition or an industry, or, a or maybe you rebel against a stupid idea, and, and that's why you are here. So tonight I want to do a toast to three groups of rebels who couldn't be here. It'll be fast, don't worry. Um, the, the first one is, is very close to my heart. It's, it's a group of Mexican journalists who have denounced corruption at the highest levels of the Mexican government. This is what's happening. The Mexican president, Enrique Peña Nieto, his wife, Angelica Rivera, and a minister, at least one minister, they bought homes from government contractors. And after that, these companies got millions of dollars from the government. In any country, with a little bit of rule of law, the president would have been forced to resign. Guess what happened? The president of Mexico didn't resign, and the journalists who denounced the corruption were fired. That is not saving Mexico. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to say a few words in Spanish so they can listen over there. Um, Señor Peña Nieto, comprar casas de contratistas y luego darles millones de dólares en contrato, eso es corrupción, por eso tanta gente quiere su renuncia y no nos vamos a callar. I think they're listening. So the first toast is for those journalists in Mexico and in Latin America who are speaking truth to power. The second toast is to all the political prisoners in Venezuela, and specifically to Leopoldo Lopez. Leopoldo Lopez is a political prisoner. He's the leader of the opposition in Venezuela. And the crime of Leopoldo Lopez was to denounce the abuse of power, corruption, and the lack of democracy under the regime of Nicolás Maduro. So let's say something to Nicolás Maduro. Nicolás Maduro libere a Leopoldo López y a todos los prisioneros políticos. Solo en las dictaduras hay prisioneros políticos. And, and don't forget this name. Leopoldo López has been, has been jailed for more than a year just because of what he was thinking. And the last toast is to my heroes, my real heroes, uh, the dreamers. You know, they are young, undocumented students who came to this country when they were very young. They were brought here 
uh, as children or babies by their parents through no fault of their own. And because Congress has done absolutely nothing during the last decade on immigration, nothing, the Dreamers decided to take this on themselves. So now they are changing immigration policy in this country. And you don't want to be their enemy. I mean, they get in your face. And, and Dreamers, they are really American citizens, but they don't have a paper to prove it. And not only that, there are many politicians and many presidential candidates who want to deport them. So here's a, just a quick note, a word of advice to all the political candidates and, and presidential candidates. Um, Latinos and millennials will decide the next election and Latinos won't vote for any candidate who wants to deport your father and your mother, <laughs> your friends, your neighbors, and young students. So now, so this is a toast for all the journalists in Mexico who are fighting corruption, for all the political prisoners in Venezuela, for the immigrants who believe that immigrant rights are human rights, and for all the rebels out there who are changing the world through nonviolence. Salud.